In section, section 3.3, we are looking at the uh, solution for the Laplace equation with a spherical boundary uh, with speak of cylindrical symmetry or asymmetrical sy symmetry. So the boundary values are set on the spherical surface and the geometry is quite straightforward. We have seen that before in chapter two. So you have a spherical surface and the center at the origin, the way this is A and the boundary of the potential on top is V on the bottom hemisphere is minus V. So that we have seen that before in uh, chapter two and we have done the calculation along the Z axis and actually the positive Z axis when theta is zero. So for theta is zero. And the solution for the Laplace equation is quite straightforward. We've done that in uh, sex, chapter two. So phi, that is along Z of, so, and let me write it down first. So it's given by V times one minus C square minus A square divided by Z square root of C square plus A square. Okay, so this is just a special case with, with uh, theta is zero, the angle is zero or along the positive Z axis. But uh, from the general formula in section 3.3, we know that uh, if uh, we can expand this function along z as uh, power of z or inverse power of z, then we can multiply it by corresponding legend polynomial. Then we get the full solution for all theta. So basically for all space. And this is for the exterior solution. So this is uh, c, is, c is greater than a, but the similar solution can be obtained for, for the interior solution. So to get that expansion, Jackson wrote it down, the, an expression, a, a expansion for this one. And that expansion uh, is straightforward, but still need to take some work. So I'll uh, do it here. So, and the, basically the major part is this uh, square root function. And first, uh, Let's define another variable because uh, this is an exterior problem. C is greater than A. We can divide the, the second term by C square in the numerator and denominator and put the Z inside the square root. So basically we define a variable X is uh, defined as uh, A over Z square. Okay, so. Uh, So that means uh, phi will be equals to V. After you do that substitution, this will be one minus X in here, divided by uh, one plus X, one half in the denominator. Okay, so that is, uh, the form and x is less than one because c is greater than a for the exterior problem. So we can do expansion in terms of power of x. So power, that series will be a power of x, but then it will be inverse power in z later. Okay, and uh, so we can work out this uh, binomial expansion first because uh, we can write down the formula for the binomial expansion. We already know that uh, one plus x to the power of r over is given by sum for k from zero to infinity for non-integer over. So it will be over using the symbol 
just combination symbol, so combinator. So, or in terms of gamma function, that is, uh, that would be the, this your know, gamma function, alpha plus one argument, xk divided by gamma function, k plus one gamma function, alpha minus k plus one. Okay, so that's the expansion, and in particular when alpha is one, one half, or minus one half in our case, so my first x minus one half will be equals to. Now, uh, alpha is one minus one half, so the denominator is gamma of the one half, which is just square root of pi. So x to the k power. divided by gamma. And k plus, k plus one, we can, uh, because k is an integer, we can change that to k factorial. And then gamma one half, this is uh, gamma is minus one half, or plus one is just one half, one half minus k. Okay, so that's the general formula for the binomial expansion. All right. Uh, so uh, then we have the expansion for uh, this term. So we need to combine with the other term, one minus x. So and let's consider just the uh, uh, this inside of square bracket and uh, not consider not carrying the v so one minus one minus x factor times one plus x to the minus one half power s now using this so you have one minus one minus x times this summation sum over uh, I think Jackson used the, the label J, but doesn't matter, so we can use J. So it becomes J, so say, uh, I think that, uh, yeah, we can use, use, but then I think that this is from k from zero to infinity. We can uh, take out the zero part. Uh, uh, k goes zero, so this would be one. This would be one. Then k goes zero, gamma one half cancel gamma one half. So you have one. Okay. We separate the one factor out because we want to cancel the one before. So one plus summation j from one to infinity and you have gamma one half x to the j power and gamma one half minus j j factorial okay so that uh, that's this one put it here and the reason we separate one because now you see that uh, this one multiplied by the factors get you one minus x and then you have a one. So one minus one minus x would be just an x. So you, so you get uh, the first term contribution multiplied like that would be cancel with the first term, you get just x. Then all you need is uh, the second term multiplied by this one and then because you have one minus x, you have actually of two terms. So plus or minus because you have a minus sign. Minus sum over j from one to infinity. 
and you have the factor gamma one half and gamma one half minus j j factorial and you have two terms one is this uh just the original one so it's x to the power j and then you the other term is uh x multiplied by that and had the negative sign so minus x j plus one okay so this multiplied by this give you this two okay and what we want to do it now is uh combine the two terms so you have j and the first term is you can keep the first term so x to the power j and j is from one to infinity for the second term you start from j equals one so the first term is j to the power two squared j square and you can combine this with this j right because uh, if you if you do that uh, basically shifting this shifting this index so instead of summing j from one to infinity you shift that from uh, this, this becomes j so you start from j from two okay and that all this becomes this becomes uh, j minus one this uh, this when one half minus j plus one but then uh, uh, there's something from j from two so for for j equals to one you actually get uh, the coefficient so this becomes j minus one for one is a zero so this is just one one half one half minus j plus one and for j equals to one this is gamma to the one half cancel with gamma to the one half to the coefficient is one so but you integrate uh, sum from j from two to infinity but this you have a you have x here and and this is a positive sign this this is minus this is minus so it's a positive sign so you can include this j in the second term so that uh, so you have for everything in terms of j from one to infinity and you have a gamma to the one half power and everything proportion x of j so then uh, the positive term is second one is the positive term so basically everything shifted for the second term so it's uh, gamma one half minus j plus one gamma the gamma j is just factorial factorial j minus one factorial and the minus the original one so one half gamma to the one half minus j and j factorial okay and then uh, we can actually do one more thing and because uh you can use the property of gamma function here okay and the property is that uh, you have gamma c plus one is equal to z gamma z okay so this is so this is what gamma one half plus j plus one so you can use that to become uh, j minus one times gamma uh, one half the argument one half minus j which is exactly this one so you can pull that one out okay you can also pull the j factorial j factorial out just fact, factorial out so this becomes uh, you multiply a j and this you have a j in front so all together you multiply the coefficient by xj power j. j just pull out gamma one half minus j and j factorial out so what you have is j and this becomes one half minus j 
minus one. And then you can simplify this one also by doing the, just combining this uh, the common denominator. But uh, we can also simplify this gamma function here, gamma one half minus j. And the way to do it uh, you, is using the product formula for gamma function. You have a gamma function c, gamma function one minus c is equals to c divided by sine pi times c. Okay, so that's uh, that's the correct formula. Okay, and so what we want to substitute is that uh, we want to uh, get this one. So gamma one half minus j. If you use uh, first try, uh, c is one half minus j, and C is one half minus J, this become one minus one half minus J becomes J plus one half. Okay, J plus one half and that equals to Z is one half minus J. And this becomes sine of one half minus uh, pi times one half minus j becomes a uh, pi over two, right? Pi over two minus pi over two minus uh, pi j pi. Uh, okay, so sign I guess so this is yeah this is right so uh, and then uh, we can simplify this one also because uh, this is just a cosine of cosine of j pi. Cosine of j pi is minus one to the power of j. Okay, so, and we actually will use this formula one more time. So gamma one plus one half, gamma j plus one half become gamma j minus one half and divided by, uh, and multiply by the j minus one half. So, so you have an extra j minus one half term here. So, so gamma one half minus j and gamma j minus one half. So equals to. Uh, that one divided by j minus one half. And this one, like we already said, that is minus one to the j power. Okay, and that, uh, and you have a one half minus j in the denominator and the numerator one half minus j. So this two cancel and then uh, this becomes a uh, minus one to the uh, this should do this be canceling so let's try oh that's actually no c I, that's actually uh, Really wrong. This is not a z, this is a pi. It shouldn't cancel actually. This one is a pi. This is a pi. The formula is like that. It's a pi. 
this is a pi. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's more like it. So, uh, what you have is this factor, which is what we want here. So, to put it to the other side and multiply everything to the uh, multiply everything. So, j from one to infinity. So, your gamma one half actually let, let, let us just write a square of pi because we'll need that uh, later. x to the power j. And this one is just this multiplied by this factor. So we have gamma uh, j minus one half times j minus one half times minus one to j power divided by pi. So we see that we'll cancel this square of pi, right? So this multiplied by this divided by that will give you this factor and then j factorial. And this factor now we simplify that. So the common denominator is one half minus j. And then you have j minus one half and minus j. So so it becomes a so j minus one half minus j so it just becomes two j minus one. Uh, let's see. J minus one. Uh, let's see. Is it two J minus one? So to j, this is from here, you have a common denominator. So j minus one half and minus j becomes plus j, so it's two j minus one half. Uh, seems like missing a factor somewhere. Let's see. So this this is from this is from this one, and this is from just shifting everything to the other side. So when you pull it out. So you have one half minus j, and this j minus one factorial comes with j here. Uh, I'm missing a factor somewhere. Okay, actually, I, there's no error. So uh, it's actually, when you do a common denominator, you have two J minus one half, that is correct. So I just look at Jackson, the final is so wrong. So that is correct. All right, so, uh, what you 
then uh, just simplify everything. So you have a uh, j minus one half, you have a uh, one half minus j, so this two cancel. And uh, then, uh, then you have a minus sign, this becomes minus one to the j, either j plus one or j minus one, you can write it that way. So, uh, so, so that is this expansion finally multiplied by the v again. So phi would be v and the coefficient you have a square of pi divided pi divided by square of pi. So you have square of pi here. So sum of a j from one to infinity. So you have the minus one to the j minus one power, j minus one. And you have a j factorial, the denominator. And you have this two j minus one half factor, gamma to the j minus one half. Okay, and then this uh, this is this expansion, right? So you have x to the j, but x is is a over z over a over z to the two j power. Okay, so that would be the final expression in Jackson. The the expansion. This is uh, somewhere the equation, the second equation below equation 3.37. Okay, so that is uh, along the z axis or the theta equals zero. But then uh, you remember that uh, the full solution uh, phi for the exterior problem, you have a proportion to the r to the l plus one, the pl cosine theta, okay? For the exterior problem, you have the uh, terms like that. So for us, you have uh, uh, along the z-axis, z is just r. So, so we have 2j power is just our l plus 1 power. So l becomes uh, 2j minus 1. OK, so we only need to multiply this by p to the 2p, 2j minus 1 order. Okay, so this is uh, imply the full solution of theta would be just the same expansion. And then j minus one half, one half. And then the, this z becomes all 2j and multiply by p to the 2j minus 2j minus 1 or the cosine theta. Okay, so that would be the final solution. Okay, 2j minus 1 up j. All right, so this is this is the correct solution. So this one, uh, if you look at uh, what we had before in chapter two, you see that at least for the first few terms, it will be exactly the same as what we got. So you can check there, say x for j equals to one, then you have uh, this two j minus one half factor. So you have uh, one, this is just three half. So gamma j plus one, j minus one half is just one half, which is square of pi, okay? And then uh, the p is two j minus one, two j minus one is just one, two j minus one is just one, okay? So that, uh, that gives you the first term, the coefficient is just, uh, this factor, so, so it's just three half. And j is one, so the minus one term is zero. This is one, it's just one. So this is one, okay? This is one, so you have three half and the square of pi cancel. 
and then the j is one so a over r square and then times p1 so that's the first term and the second term j is two so two j minus one half is uh, uh, two times two is four times uh, seven and half is seven half okay two factorial is two and then gamma to the uh, j plus one j plus one is three half gamma three half is just uh, one half plus one so one square pi over two so j minus one is just 2j minus 1 is just 3. So that's the second term. So we have a little, first we have minus sign and then two factorial. So, so divided by 2, and then this is 7 half, you can 7 fourth, and this is square root of pi over 2. So square root of pi times 7 divided by 8, and then multiply by a to the r to the fourth power. And p to the three, so all together phi is so v. So cancel the with the square root of pi. So the first term is three half, and then a over r square p one cosine theta, which is just cosine theta. And the second term is minus seven eight a over r fourth power p three cosine theta, then press higher all the terms. So that would be exactly the same what, as what we got from chapter two. This is equation 2.27. Okay, so we check that uh, by this numerical, at least for first two terms, this is the correct formula for the general solution. Okay, so that, that's it for this discussion.